In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to register for classes. Let's start by going to oasis.oglethorpe.edu and selecting Login. Enter your Oglethorpe username, password, and press Submit. Select Oasis for Students from the menu, and then New Student Planning, View Plan and Register. This will open a new tab in your browser and take you to your student planning homepage. From here, select Go to Plan and Schedule. This will open your Schedule tab and use the tab arrow button to go to the 2020 Spring Academic Term, or the upcoming term. You'll notice that the blue ribbon that would normally tell you your registration date and time has disappeared, but the Register Now button has turned blue. This means that you are now able to register online. To help explain how registration will work, we'd like to use an analogy of grocery shopping. We're going to separate our registration screen here into three separate areas. The first area here is your shopping list. This is where you have all your planned courses. This area here is your shopping cart. And then the register now button here at the top is the checkout line. Now, the first thing you want to do when you go grocery shopping is create a shopping list. So to create the shopping list, you want to add your first choice courses and we would strongly encourage your second choice courses. Note that what we're saying here is courses, not sections. While we do have some sections here, we also have some regular courses. The reason for that is because if you try to add more than 19 credit hours worth of courses or sections, I'm sorry, to your registration, the system will process everything but it will only register you for the first 19 credit hours it finds. That can cause some issues and it may mean you lose out on taking a class that you really want. So what you'd want to do is have your first and second choice courses here on your shopping list and then go to view other sections to select a course and add that section to your shopping cart. Once you've added all of the courses to your shopping cart, you're ready to go check out. Now, we would recommend that you do all of this, so adding the courses to your shopping list and then adding them to your shopping cart before registration. So if you're trying to do this the morning before registration at 645, you're probably going to run into some issues. We would recommend that you have these first and second choice, um, second choice courses planned before you meet with your advisor. Now, if you have any questions about how to do that, we would encourage you to watch our tutorial about how to create a degree plan, which can also be found on our website. So. After you've added all of these sections to your shopping cart, you want to select Register Now. Provided there are no issues, like no courses filled up in the meantime, you have meet all the prerequisites for a course, there shouldn't be any issue. But let's say that there was an, exam there was an issue. So for example, this CDE 201101 says you're not allowed to register for it. Okay, but it still processed my registration for everything else. Well, it's a one credit class, so I can just remove it from my schedule and I could try to replace it with something else if I wanted to and I could quickly move over here to view other sections and I could add that section to my schedule. And now I see that I just have this register button option here. So I can do that. But at bare minimum, I got all the other courses that I wanted. The registration module can be adapted and used in a variety of ways. As you begin to get more familiar with it, you will find the way that works best for you. We have tested a couple different ways to register, and we think this is a way that is the quickest and most effective. Thanks for joining us, and have a great day.